Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We have a kind of exciting afternoon and I thought I would share it with you. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I just got Jack down for a nap. Aubrey's playing kind of quietly in her room. I finished making myself a coffee smoothie and toasting myself up some Plotsek. If you guys don't know about this bread, it's a Polish sweet bread that my family's been making for years. So um, I had some egg yolks that I needed to use up, so I thought I would make a loaf. So if you're interested in checking this out and making it for yourself, I have a recipe video. So I will link that up above. But after I enjoy this, I'm gonna clean up this area because it's, it's, it's a little bit messy and this is like my one time to clean in somewhat peace. I can always throw on a show for Aubrey if, if I need it, but you know, with Jack walking around now and we kind of have things more baby proofed, it just gets really messy. He loves opening up this cabinet and like taking out all of the plates and all that stuff. So I will be cleaning that up. And then today, Aubrey is gonna test out a gymnastics class. She's kind of like me, like she gets really nervous um, with like new experiences. And I'm really hoping that it goes well and that she like enjoys it. And even if it's not for her, I just hope it goes well and that it's not like having a fit or tantrums or something. So praying that God gives her peace and me too, cause it's going to a new place and whatever. But I will try to at least maybe take some pictures or show you guys some highlights from that little trip as well. But before I pause this video to eat my meal before we actually get started with the cleaning, I figure it's worth sharing. So yesterday I, I started a little intermittent fasting routine and we're gonna see how it goes. I'm not really gonna be documenting my entire experience and I'll probably share more in another video. Like I won't be sharing the day to day, but pretty much what I'm testing out and so far I'm like, I've already dropped two pounds in like a day, but who knows how consistent that would be. But, uh, cause my fluctuate like crazy, but anyways, what I'm doing is I am fasting from 6 p.m. in the evening until 11.30 a.m. And then from 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m., so noon-ish, for that first hour, I'm only trying to restrict myself to like high protein, so like egg whites or just like chicken breast plain or whatever. And then from 12.30 again to 6.30, I can kind of just eat whatever. And we're gonna see how that works. Based on the information my brother shared with me, he said that fasting for 16 hours kind of uses up all of the carbs or something like that. And so you really want to wait like an 18 hour stretch to eat, which would make it like 1230 I could start eating. The 1130 mark is the 17 hour mark. And so I figured if I only eat protein, then I'm not really ingesting like any extra carbs. And so, um, you know, I go an hour of nothing and then an hour of just protein. So anyways, I'm not gonna go into all of that detail, I guess, uh, in further, but I'm gonna give it a try. Hopefully it'll work for me because I've had just a really hard time losing the weight I gained after moving in this house. I lost a lot of baby weight, not all of it, but I lost a lot and then I gained a lot back. So we're gonna see how this goes and hopefully I will be looking more healthy. But in today's video, I'm frumping it until I actually have to get dressed a little bit better for our outing in the evening. So let me enjoy this food because I'm hungry and then we'll clean up. I'm gonna start with the biggest and easiest space to clean up so that it feels significantly better in here. And then we'll move on to the messy kitchen.
So as I was about to start vacuuming, I realized the like bristles weren't spinning. So we first had to take a break to kind of clear out all of the hair and all the gunk that was there so that our vacuum could actually vacuum our carpet. So I had to take a quick break from cleaning to make Aubrey a little snack. She said she was hungry and wanted a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with peanut butter and jelly in the middle, whatever that meant. So I had to go ahead and whip this up for her before moving on to kind of cleaning up a little bit more and creating a little mesh lid for some lentils that I am trying to sprout for our chickens. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us So I made this little mesh lid out of a like sink strainer thing and it took a lot longer than I thought it would to cut the wires down so that it would actually fit our mason jar but it finally did and now it'll be a lot easier for me to kind of rinse out these lentils twice a day until they have sprouted you know the desired amount uh, so that I can then feed it to the chickens. I will include a couple of these lentils a couple days later just to kind of see like the growth in a matter of like two and a half days but it is something that I've been doing recently. One bag of lentils last me a few weeks because it I use like a, a small portion at a time and it's just a, a very healthy snack for the chickens you made this mess and left me with the pieces now I'm gonna burn all the bridges between us
So as I was vacuuming our rug, I realized that one of our chickens had gotten onto our kind of growing grass and we really don't want them to be scratching around there. So I had to run out there and get vanilla and put her back uh, on our slope before continuing on to cleaning our floor. So this little guy woke up. I got done with as much cleaning as I possibly yeah, could. Yeah, and Bobby accidentally tried to take it out of the left side, and he hold it his little finger. I, apparently that happened. Um, so we're just going to play, and uh, I'm going to probably try to keep my house as clean as possible by just going outside. And then I will check back in when we go to Aubrey's. Jim. Nastics. Uh, Let's hope. Woohoo! Tell me how you're feeling. Happy. You're feeling happy? Anything else? I'm a little bit nervous too. That's okay to feel but nervous. Bubby is super sad. Bubby's super sad? Because he's nervous I'm gonna fall. Oh. Well, I'm so excited to watch you have fun today. Hey, Mom, can you with me? Can you take a picture of me? Yes. Cheese. Oh, beautiful. I love it. Now we'll see. Okay. What did you think? It was amazing. And look. It was amazing. See my foot. Daddy, look on my feet. Wow. Can I get my shoes now? Yeah, we can get your shoes. But tell me, was it really fun? Yeah. Oh, are you glad that you did it, even though you were nervous? You did? Yeah. What was your favorite part? When I, I picked, when she asked me what I thought, I said the kitty cat. Uh huh. And they said if we can pet it or we'll hug it. And, oh. they, and I said yes and yes. Oh, and then tell me about the stamps. 
December happy face heart stampy. And why'd you get stamps on your hands and feet? This, this one and this one. And why? Why'd you get them? Because I was making good choices sometimes. <laughs> sometimes? And you didn't get one on your other foot because you didn't make a good choice? Oh, okay, but three out of four is good, right? Oh, yeah. And do you want to come back again? Yeah, I will come every Tuesday. I, can I come tomorrow? <laughs> Not tomorrow, but we can come back in a week. Next no. week? On Tuesday. Tomorrow's is Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Uh, tomorrow's Tuesday. <laughs> you want tomorrow to be Tuesday? I'll, I'll talk to God about it, okay? Okay. I think today was a success, right? So we are back home from our little family outing. I was anticipating it was just going to be me and Aubrey going, but then it ended up being a whole family thing because Juan knows how stressed I get. So it was really nice of him to like take care of everything and be willing to go as a family and not just like hang out at home with Jack. So I, I'm i so pleased with how everything went. I was anticipating Aubrey like wouldn't want me to leave her side or anything like that, but it was like time to line up. She got her hand sanitizer and I like, well, kind of walked her over there and then I kind of like snuck back and she was fine with the little girls and it was like a 45 minute class. She was cute as ever on the little balance beam. You know, obviously it was her first time ever. She's not like a pro at kicking her leg up or anything like that, but she did so good. Like I'm so happy and pleased with how the whole emotional roller coaster ended up going you know she was really nervous about going in the first place and just really nervous that's all she could talk about but then at the same time there were moments where she got excited and so I'm just so glad that the excitement won over and that it wasn't just like a nervous train wreck so anyways she wants to go again and I'm happy to you know, bring her and in the future, it'll just be me and her going. And I'm ready for that now. Like I know kind of where it is. And uh, it's just a big sigh of relief. I'm so happy that she did well. Apparently the teacher also said like she listened to instructions well, and she followed the instructions really well. So it was nice to get that feedback because this was really her first time like going to a class where I'm not right next to her or nearby and it was a good test to see kind of like okay how is she gonna behave and so <sighs> anyways I'm glad that I cleaned the house earlier today so that is all checked off the kids are in bed but the last thing I want to do is put up some like magnetic light fixture things that we got sent so I will be putting that up, but I'd like to thank you guys for watching today's video and supporting my channel. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you are new. Now let's go ahead and check out this awesome product. I'd like to thank Lightbiz for sponsoring this portion of today's video and sending us this set of five LED lights. The lights are nice and thin, are dimmable, and can sense motion. They come with a charging station that can charge three lights simultaneously while also storing the other two. The installation process was super easy. I centered the provided 3M tape on the lights and then peeled off the paper to expose the sticky side of the tape. Then I stuck the lights where I wanted them under our kitchen cabinets. I had one light left over, so I decided to add it to our pantry door frame. I'm really impressed with how well these lights work and how they detect motion. It will also be nice to not have to turn on the kitchen lights during movie night when we want to grab a quick snack. They also come with a remote control that controls each of them individually when you point it in their direction. 
Check out the description box for more information on this great product. Again, I'd like to thank Lightbiz for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And thank you again for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.